what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel i'm qb so today's video is going to be a frontal video um on this hair and this hair is from eunice or eunice i don't really know like the correct pronunciation but i think it's eunice um but this is my first time trying their hair and let me just say i am in love like this hair is really really nice um this is obviously my first day putting it on so i don't really have much of a review um i'm probably gonna put like a review later on but as you can see like i can't stop running my hands through it like it just feels so good and right now it's actually not fly ironed um because i have somewhere to be so i kind of just like um didn't want to do that part but i'll probably make another video like curling the hair or just reviewing the hair in general so don't worry about that i got y'all but um yeah this hair is so cute like really really cute um it's 20 inches and um i really like it because they it already comes layered as you can see like the front is like short comes up to like right here and then the, the like it just gets longer so this is 20 inches and it comes up to like right here on me like almost almost my hips basically like right before my hips that's where it comes on um me so because i'm pretty short i'm five two so yeah it's 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 crazy i feel like it's really really cute and i think i did a good job laying this wig so quick disclaimer i am not a professional wig layer uh, uh melter or whatever whatever y'all call it or whatever whatever y'all want to say i just do this on my own like I, I do this for other people too but i do it on my own i do it for myself so i'm not like arrogant hey or Jonathan or who else who else be slaying them wigs I don't even know but I'm not like professional professional but I feel like I do a good job like for myself and for my friends or whatever if they you know want their hair laid so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video um, I'm gonna try to make this video as detailed as possible for y'all on how I do this but you're just basically gonna get to see like how I lay my front two wig and um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up let me know if you guys want to see more hair videos because i really do plan on doing a lot of more hair videos um so yeah let's go ahead and jump right into this video okay guys so here we are so as you can see i have done my bald cap method it's not the neatest but you know we got it you know going or whatever and um this is my wig it's already bleached and plucked um by me and i'm just going ahead and putting that on and as you can see it matches my skin like pretty good now i'm going to be using my 91 percent alcohol to um basically clean up my makeup around my hairline so that the um glue can actually stay on my head and get this wig laid so i'm just using my ghost bond to basically um you know glue my wig um i don't always use this but um if I want to keep the wig on for more than like two days, then I'll probably use that. But normally I just use got to be glue girl because most of the times I just want to get home and take off my wig and that's it. So I'm just making sure that the glue dries clear um, before I use my blow dryer and just make sure that the glue dries down um, to like a tacky like feel. Um, and then I'm just showing you guys the powder color that I used for the lace to make it like match my skin tone even more. Now I'm just putting on a wig and just making sure it's laid and everything is like properly in place before I cut the lace. So I'm just basically like testing it out just like putting it on my head like kind of just pressing using my my hand to like press the hair to my scalp so the glue dries really flat and like the wig is like laid so now i'm just going ahead and i am cutting the lace um i feel like i kind of made a mistake low-key i feel like i was a little nervous making this video but i really should have cut the lace before i glued it down so that's what i'm gonna try next time when i like lay a wig and i'll probably record it but yeah i was like thinking about it i was like damn i should really should have just like cut the lace before i glued it so i could have just glued it in sections and it would just it would have just made my life a whole lot easier 
but that's a tip for y'all watching out there that if you want to use that just definitely put cut the lace before um like cut the lace cut the lace in sections before you glue it down basically so now as you can see i'm just going ahead and i am cutting the extra lace from behind my ear um and just making sure that everything is flat and ready to go So as you can see, the lace is in sections and I'm just going to go section, section by section, um, just cutting the lace in like a zigzag motion. Um, you want to make sure you're doing this because you don't want your lace to look like a straight line. Like it's just not natural looking. So you just want to cut in zigzag motion and um, yeah. So right now, as you can see, I'm pulling out my ear tabs and I'm going to go ahead and use my got to be spray just to give me an extra flat laid look and um i'm basically just playing around with the hair and just seeing how i wanted to really lay and um going from there basically So I'm going back in with the blow dryer to basically just like make sure everything is flat and extra laid. I don't know how many times I said laid in this video, but girl, you just have to get your thing laid, okay? Period. That's that's the conclusion of this video. Laid. That's the that's the word of the day. Laid, okay? So yes, I'm just using my fingers to press the lace into my scalp just to give it an extra flat look. And now I'm going to be using my silk scarf to um, tie it around my hairline to make sure that I get in the lace to really melt into my head. I'm going to give it five minutes. Then we're going to take it off. And bam. Boom, bam, bam. Okay. Boodle bop, bop, bop. Yep. That's, that's what we're talking about. Yep. So... <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going in and I'm going to basically give myself some baby hairs. I'm going to use my, what is this, a shredder, hair shredder or something like that. Um, Y'all know what this is. I don't even know the original name, but we know, we all know what this is, okay? I'm just basically using it to cut my baby hairs. And now I'm going to go in with some mousse to um, just get everything to be flat and ready to be slayed and made period so now i'm just using a brush to basically um lay my edges and guys i am not that good with baby hairs like that's not my strength when it comes to wigs okay i know this and i am going to work on perfecting my craft but for right now you're gonna get what you get okay like at this point i'm done but as you can see in this video i really just kind of like was switching up how i was doing the baby hairs and just trying to like test what i like see what i like or whatever but i decided to go with this cute little look like yes girl it's like minimal it's giving minimal baby hairs but still like a lot of baby hairs at the same time but anyways yeah so this is really basically the look um, I really love this hair. I really have not gotten a chance to fly iron this hair or even curl this hair. Like, I literally just got this hair and just installed it today. So, you know, I really haven't gotten to do much with it. But, yes, as you can see, I'm just using my stick to basically lay down the wig and the baby, the, what's it called? The flyaway hairs or whatever. Just to give it an extra flat look. And then also using my Kenja's Boutique hot comb to um, basically bump up the front a little bit to give me a little volume in the front and um yeah just making sure it look real flat and real natural and girl i know you can see you can see what this looking like right now it looks so good like come on now stop playing with your girl so i forgot to put my makeup back around my hairline so it looks a little weird but y'all get the drift y'all already know what to do i really enjoyed making this video and um let me know if you would use my techniques because i feel like i showed a little something in here in this video whatever but i'm still learning don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye